Hi. It's been a while. It's a very different setting, not the usual Exeter student house. Here I am in my actual house back in Brunei. And you know what? It's, it's very nice. I, I really enjoy being back and taking a break from social media and YouTube and all the things that were preoccupying my mind. Let's sit down and let's just chat. How about that? It rhymes. So I've been back about a month now. So I arrived in August and I can tell you that I've just been trying to settle down and go back to a routine that I really really like. I'm not working, I'm not very good at that, but you know I'm thriving. I'm thriving. Life is life is okay. The past few months since I made my last YouTube video, I've graduated, which is fun. I finally have a degree. I've gone back home and I'm I'm settling in and I think that's a very good thing to do right now. I'm in a space where I feel safe and I'm feeling calm and I'm just surrounded by people that I really really love and care for and that's the only thing I really ask for right now. Coming back though I do realize there's a lot of things that has happened while I was gone and not to sound kind of weird but there's a lot of things that I had no idea what happened while I was gone. And ah, you know what? Maybe some people should have informed me before I came back and thought, wow, things happened. So what's going on in Brunei? Okay, we've moved to my sister's room and the vlogging camera. Uh, I took a nap because I'm tired all the time. But we're going to Eco Park, so let's move this vlogging thing over there. Cool? Cool. So how fast you can go. Ready? Yeah. That's not you either. It's close enough! Kakano! So how do you do it? You put... I don't know how to teach people. You know how you ride a skateboard? I don't know how to ride a skateboard, I know. Oh, screw you. It's a penny board. Hey, I'm not doing so bad. You're so slow. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> This is, where is it? This is Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin. It's like one of the most beautiful mosques here in Brunei. And for some reason, I actually haven't been in this area. I just saw. So I think the last time I passed it was actually a few weeks ago when a friend of mine came over and I was just showing her around Brunei and how beautiful it is. To be honest, I don't think Brunei has changed that much. I mean, other than Eco Park, which is new. Like, I actually didn't realize there was a new park until last year, I guess. Regardless, I do think it's a very nice view. It's a very hot day as well. It's like 30 degrees and I'm already boiling in this dress. I think one thing I know about Brunei is that it never really changes. And you can say that's a good thing or a bad thing. And there's something familial about that which is really nice when there's nothing familial about where you were or where you want to be. So coming back to a place like here where everything feels the same and your friends are still there and your family is still there, it's really, it's really sweet, it's really nice, it's really calming to know that to an extent you can complain as much as you want but Brunei will always be a home to you, it's always a home to me at least. Let's walk around some more because I am bloody boiling in this. You're gonna hate the wind and I apologize in advance. Maybe I should go somewhere that's less windy without a Pontianak behind me. Okay, this is a tiny bit better. I've settled down pretty much just because if I'm gonna be 100% honest, I. I was kind of sick of the UK. You, you're gone for three years, you kind of realize, mm, I miss my family, I miss my friends. I want to go back to a place where at least the sun and the weather's consistent. I wanted to make this video about Brunei and how it feels like to be back and being gone for so long that it feels like 
your country has basically changed without you. And to an extent, it has. I mean, my friends are, are different people. My friends have grown without me, and I have too. They've got lives, and I've got a different life that I have to reintegrate into, and it's a bit harder than it, it's harder than it seems. I got really excited to go to the UK three years ago. You know, I was in a very different place, and I was so excited after I graduated. I just couldn't wait to be back. It's less because I was overwhelmed with the UK, but rather there were things in the UK and something that I never realized was cultural displacency, if, if that's what the word is, like feeling like you don't belong somewhere. And unfortunately, I think to an extent, that's how I felt when I was in the UK for so long because it didn't feel like it was my culture, for one thing. But that isn't to say that I feel very Bruneian right now either. Sometimes I'm scared I don't act like a typical Bruneian, and I am not what someone sees as a typical Bruneian, but I want to be. I want to be the best version of myself, but I also want to represent my country through everything, even if people don't feel that way. It's going back to a place that's similar. And now I have to start settling back in, at least for now. I don't think it's a forever thing. I think it's a, I need a break and I need a breather thing. And home is good for that. I really love traveling. I really love being somewhere else, somewhere new, somewhere exciting. That's one of the main reasons why I went to study in the UK. But I also know, no matter how cheesy and stupid it sounds, there's no place like home. Home is your family and your friends and somewhere that you know has really shitty Wi-Fi, but you'll love it just the same, even though you wish the Wi-Fi was so much better. It's just resettling back into some kind of norm, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Hi. It's really cold in my room, hence the jacket. It's past midnight. It's like she'll like... 18 past midnight and I'm very tired and I need to remove my makeup but I haven't done an outro for this vlog thing. Is it really a vlog though? I'm really sorry for the clickbait title but what can you do? Apparently that's the best way to get views now and I need it. Today has been kind of nice in that it's just really chill and just being with my family and my friends around is always really nice. I know being back home and settling down isn't something that I have to get used to because God knows it's not. I know that I feel better just being here. That's really all I can ask for. I look so tired. Can you see like my little glasses right there? Okay. Better. What's going on in Brunei? A lot of things, but to be honest, I don't really want to get into them because ah, there's so much going on. All you have to know is that there will be more videos coming out. Hopefully this one and another one coming up soon. I will also try to start writing on my blog again, which will be very, very exciting because I do miss it. And yeah, I want to make content that makes me feel happy, even if there's something stupid like these kind of vlogs or something even more thought out. I don't know. I need help. If you guys have any ideas of what kind of videos I should do, please leave them down below. They don't have to be makeup. I can do more things other than makeup, I think. Maybe. Probably not. Whatever. I can do things. I'm gonna end the video now because I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Smash Harry and thanks so much for watching. Bye! Okay, time to go to bed. Bye!